Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Earlier this morning, Ubiquity dropped one of the biggest updates for the Unify OSs. This update is Unify OS 3.0. If we look in their release page, we can see we have the Dream Machines 3.0.13, we have the network video recorders, Cloud Key Gen 2, as well as the Dream Routers. Currently, the UDM Pros are in the 1 series and they are migrating to the 2.0 series, hopefully sooner rather than later. Unify OS 3.0.13 is currently still in release candidate and hopefully it gets pushed to general release shortly. Do I recommend you putting these on your production SEs? Probably not yet. I would look at the forum and see if anybody is having issues or if you have a lab UDM SE put it on that, which I have done. Now, if you want to support my channel, the best way to do so is to hit the subscribe button. We're trying to hit 100,000 subscribers. And if you'd like to hire me for network consulting, you'd find my website down in the description below. What we're going to do in this video, we're going to do a general overview of Unify OS 3.0. In other videos, we'll go more in depth with some of the features. As you can see, I've already updated my UDM SE to 3.0.13. And if you want to do it as well, you have to go to the Unify OS release channel and then put it on release candidate. Then you will be able to update to this version and it will also update your network UID, talk, protect, and access. Now, one of the first changes within 3.0 is our system log. They've added admin activity. We've had storage events in cloud connections. So under the admin activity, you could see that I changed from release channel to release candidate. And we could also see that I've accessed it from the Unify OS, which is really great for management. Now going into our Unify network controller, the dashboard doesn't look like it took any changes, but if we look on the left-hand pane, we have our dashboard, we have topology, we have our Unify devices, we have clients, and then we have this security insights. So the security insights, we'll dig into that a little bit deeper because there's a lot there. And then we have Wi-Fi insights. We have system logs, which they've added a whole ton to that. And then we have our settings. Now looking at our device page, if we click on my USW Enterprise 24 PoE and we go to ports, they now call this port manager. I think before it was called port management. So that's just a little change that they've made. They've also made some nice changes for the connected clients. We could see that I have my G4 Pro and it's on the camera network and it's connected to port one. So we could see all of our unified devices in which port they're connecting to. We could also see non-unified devices, which I believe this is my Philips Hue and it's on port 19. So I really like that new update. Now looking under security insights, we could see the traffic identification and we could see everything that has been connected by the app or we could do it by the clients. And we could also change if we want it identified, all download or upload. Under filtered activity, this is new. So we now have ad blocks and we have traffic rules that are enforced. So this is gonna show us some statistics when we either have ad blocking or traffic rules in here, which I currently don't have. Now, this is one of the biggest changes in Unify OS 3.0. It adds the ability to add a lot more system logs and firewall logs. At the top, we have our critical alerts, which is showing me that my primary internet temporarily failed over to my secondary, which is true. I'm currently on my secondary internet and it will tell you all the device disconnects under here. Under security detections, which I don't have, this is where our security threat alerts are going to come in for our threat management. Under updates, it will show us any update to the device. So the UDM SE got updated as well as my 24 port PoE. And then we have our admin activity. We could see that I've accessed the console through the Unify Network web application, which would be unify.ui.com. If I were to join it locally, it would tell us that as well. Under the client, we could see when our clients change to different SSIDs or different access points. We could see most of this has connected to my Wi-Fi SSID of Dolores. Under access points, it's gonna show us anything to do with our AP. So if it changes channels, which the U6 Enterprise has done because it's set to auto. And then under triggers, we could set up security triggers and we'll go a lot more in detail about this in its own separate video. Now under push notifications, we could do a whole lot. We could do all these critical notifications. We could do updates, security detections, AP events, clients, and then we could do admin activities if we'd like. Also under our display options, we have a bunch of different things that we could toggle on or off. Internet power device systems, gateway building to building bridges, unify LTE, or non-network devices. Now under the Wi-Fi tab, this looks a little bit different. So our global AP, they've added the six gigahertz radio if we're gonna do global AP settings. We could also delete Wi-Fi SSIDs right from here. We could click on manage, and then if we wanted to delete Dolores, 
we would click remove or we could pause this Wi-Fi SSID. Then under networks, it's the exact same thing. We could see the primary internet is using WAN 1 and we could delete a network if we'd want by manage and then click on the network we'd want to delete and then press remove. One of the biggest updates for Unify 3.0 was their VPN. So we have our teleport, which we've had for a while, but then we have the VPN server. If we create a new server, we can now see that it supports WireGuard, which is awesome. And I'll be doing a full separate video on WireGuard setup. We also still have our L2TP and we could have multiple different VPN running at the same time. We also have our VPN client, which would be for our open VPN. And we could still do site to site VPNs through manual IPsec or open VPN. Now, another feature of Unify 3.0 is under traffic management and that's the ad blocking. I don't know how much detail I'll go in this in another video. I might not even do a separate video on it, but if you're looking for it, it's under static route, then ad blocking and we enable it and you could specify which network you want this to be running through. Under the system tab, the interface has changed a little bit. We could see our updates, backup support, and then advanced. And if we wanna look, we need to click add show more, and then we could see everything down below. And a couple more things we'll touch on. It adds OpenVPN tunnel in the traffic routes, which is great. It allows multiple VPNs, which I already said. It updates the RJ45 driver, and it also adds VPN client routing, which is awesome. They improved the PPPoE performance for the 2.5 gigabit Ethernet WAN interface, and I'm gonna have to test that out as I do have PPPoE. As you can tell by the release notes, this is a huge update, and it's probably the biggest update by Ubiquiti yet for their Unify OS consoles. I'm really glad of the direction that Ubiquiti is pushing these. I know some people may still be mad that the UDM Pro is still on the 1 series, but the 2 series is coming soon. I'm sure I missed some things in this video, but if there's something you want to see a separate video done on, leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.